Holy cow, Michael Sutherland not even getting to do a, a proper ring introduction, Mac, as they cut him off. Yeah, you got a lot of talent up there, and everybody's got a bone to pick. <laughs> Michael, I tell you, uh, I know you're getting out of there. Hey, I'm getting the heck out of Dodge on this one. You Drop got kicks by Jerry Lynn. This is a six-man tag team elimination style match. That means when a guy is pinned, he's gone until one complete team has been eliminated. Jerry up and over. He caught all four of them. Tony Lucasio was down on the floor as well. What a proper <laughs> place for him. Lucasio gets a little bit of medicine there, Mac. Yep. What goes around comes around. Tony's been involved in a lot of them now. They involved him this time. And now four men outside the ring, three men. Well, four if you count the referee, but he's impartial. But anyway, be that as it may, fans, a, a six-man elimination tag match. Is that right, Michael? Absolutely. You've got the team of Jerry Lynn, Tommy Mercer, and the White Tiger on the inside of the ring and on the outside trying to regroup and uh, regain some strategy here is going to be the team of Casey Cage, Big Bully Douglas, and everybody knows that Sean Schultz. And, uh, you know, we've got some people that, that are not regulars here at EWP, but they're looking to inch their way back into the premier wrestling promotion in East Tennessee and Southeast Kentucky. And what a great way to do it by gaining a victory on the TV main event on my VLT2. I'll tell you what, Mac, this shows you right here. This is indicative every week of the talent and of the, the quality of corporate wrestlers that we have in Tennessee and in the southeast United States, all of them coming here and all of them wanting to get here because of the prestige that is EWP Pro Wrestling. Well, I just saw Jerry clean out four people, so I don't know. I thought the match was over. Well, I think you have to be, is that an over-the-top rope? Uh, are those over-the-top rope rules there, Michael, or by pinfall? Uh, my understanding is going to be by pinfall. Fans, we have allotted some extra TV time so we can bring you this main event. There's going to be a lot of action. you got six guys in the ring, all quality athletes. And as you can see, some of these guys have put in tremendous hours in the gym each and every week. You've got the fast-paced action of uh, the White Tiger and Casey Cage in the ring right here. Mac, we've got a side headlock here. Casey Cage, uh, uh, he, even though he's a youngster, he does have some years in this sport. And, uh, you know, the White Tiger, very mysterious, wears a mask. I don't know whether you agree with wearing a mask in the ring or not, but nonetheless, these are the two that's going to start it out here. Well, Tiger, I believe, is cut from somewhere up in Kentucky, so he's made a trip down here just for this. Good block. Not so good, believe Arm drag sends him over, Mac. He's got some good counter moves, excellent counter moves. Absolutely. Tony Lucasio does not like what he sees on the outside there. He's shouting some instructions in to Casey Cage, hollering at the White Tiger, referee Tim McGee right on top of the action. And we've got a tag in to the ECW legend, Jerry Lynn. And he comes crashing down off that second turnbuckle with an elbow right into the shoulder area of Casey Cage. Which is a very vulnerable place. It takes a lot out of the man. I'm kind of amused watching Tony over there. He looked kind of uh, kind of used tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 so to speak. Kind of uh, rode hard and put up wet. Uh, something's along those lines. We got a kick out there from Jerry Lynn and a very quick arm drag. Takes Mr. Cage over. Big Billy Douglas over here, the big man with the bald head claiming that there was a hair pull there. I, don't, I didn't see one of those. Now Tommy Mercer, and what a physical specimen Tommy Mercer is. A powerful, a powerful individual, Tommy Mercer. Hooks the leg, one, two, no sir. All right, brings him back into a side headlock. Now Tommy Mercer obviously has the height advantage uh, actually on each and every person here. I think he does stand a few inches taller than Big Billy Douglas, and that's saying something because he's a very large man on the outside of the ring there. Certainly Casey Cage, no uh, smaller individual though, as he's in there right now with the gentleman from Cleveland, Ohio. I'll tell you what, guys, again, wow. Look at Tommy Mercer go at him there. And I'll tell you what, Casey Cage now over in no man's man land, Mac. Tommy's been barring that arm. That left arm's gonna be giving him some problems. Well, you notice right on it, and, and seeing that and jumping right on it is Jerry Lynn. You know, I'm going to tell you something, with, with working on that shoulder there, you can not only dislocate it, but you can tear a rotator cuff, which will put you on the shelf for at least four months. Very easily. And it happens all the time in wrestling world. And matter of fact, we know many times these men 
have to struggle along with injuries and make their commitments because one thing a wrestler wants to do is maintain their standing in the rankings and work their way up to title matches because titles mean money, prestige, and uh, on up the ladder. Lynn now, beautiful takedown. A cover, but again, Mackey didn't hook the leg. These guys know no work, no pay, so they don't, they don't have any workman's comp or anything like that. Really, I'll tell you, we don't say enough about that, about the heart that every wrestler that gets in the ring there, whether you like them or don't like them, that they contend with. Lynn skates out of there rather adroitly. And that's a smart decision because look who was tagged in, the big man on uh, this team of Schultz, Cage, and, and Douglas. He's got to stand six foot six, uh, probably 265 pounds, and he's pretty solid too, but now he's gonna be in for a surprise. In comes Tommy Mercer and says, hey, you wanna take a big man on? I'll take you on. Well, here comes Douglas. Uh-uh, Douglas caught him low and then nailed him with a shot to the head. I've never seen Douglas in the ring. So this is kind of a treat for me, too. Douglas has spent a lot of time in Nashville, Tennessee, in the middle part of the state. I've been to Kentucky. And, uh, you know, he's been around for a number of years, and he has held regional championships on a number of occasions. So he is no pushover. He may be new to the EWP fans, but he is not new to the wrestling uh, industry. And, but you can see he's hurting. I don't think he knows how to take this big man, Tommy Mercer. I'll tell you what, Mercer took his best shot there, and Douglas turned his back on his man. A classic mistake there and Mercer made him pay in spades. Well, they tagged Schultz, and Schultz didn't make contact, tagged back out. I believe that's a mistake. You're supposed to make contact before you tag back out again. Mercer, vertical sweep, play, what and he, move. What a move. he connected. And now he hooks the leg, gets a one, two, no Very sir. smart move, he almost crawled after him to pull him back down on the mat, hopefully had him stunned enough for a three count. Didn't happen, but I admire his uh, determination on Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Here comes the white tiger. Ouch. What a ring entrance. They have picked their point on Casey Cage, and it's going to be that left shoulder. He caught him with a knee lift into the midsection. Now, I don't know that he had a lot into that, but he was able to make a tag to uh, everybody knows Sean Schultz. Indeed. Schultz is making a lot of noise. Let's see what he can do with this boy. The promo king himself, Sean Schultz. And White Tiger, they top collar and elbow. Schultz with a knee to the midsection on Tiger. And now Sean Schultz, hard right hand. Doubles his man over, and again, Schultz with the right hand. Tiger now, being set for the right, and Schultz. No, sir, Tiger ducking under, so does Schultz. And Schultz with an elbow, no, sir, reversal by Tiger. And White Tiger with a beautiful hip toss takedown. Japanese arm drag, yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of moves flying here, standing. I'm gonna say something. Moves. This is hard to call. We almost need about four more cameras out here to catch it all. I'll tell you what, the action fast and furious, as it always is in EWP. Schultz whipping him across the way into the corner. Coming in hard, no sir. Got met with an elbow to the jaw and then a boot to the face. Tiger now. No sir, Schultz caught him on that one. And made him pay in spades. It was illegal, but it was a heck of a move. Drove the back of his head down into that canvas and the White Tiger now is in trouble. And he definitely in trouble now is looking. You'll be able to see the size, the size differentiation here between Big Billy Douglas and the White Tiger. You've got 265 pounds against maybe 210. And that's no slouch with the White Tiger, but you can see the size difference, guys. And maybe that's gonna be a big factor in this match. A drastic contrast. Salto backbreaker. Mm. Brother, hook the leg, one, two, no sir. He just pulled that leg over. He didn't have the weight down on the shoulders. That was a lackadaisical cover there and a, a, a very um, a terrible maneuver, I should say. I don't know what words to describe that one. Just didn't make a good decision, oh, did very, Big Billy Douglas. Very arrogant on his part, would you say, Michael? Very arrogant on the part of Douglas. He thought he had his man cold, and while he had nailed him, uh, he certainly did not uh, cover him in an effective manner. High in the air, all the blood flowing to the brain, and he's holding him up there for the souple. Might be a brain duster, let's see. Nope, vertical souple. That's a long way down. Jerry Lynn's and Tommy Mercer's faces, they desperately want their tag team partner to get over and make a tag to either one of them so they can get in because they could be seeing the, uh, one of their uh, teammates slip away. 
What a way to hold your partner as he halfway hooked an abdominal stretch on him, Mac. Yeah. And that left him wide open for those boots to the ribs yeah. by Schultz. They're still double teaming him and dug us on the outside. Is that Lucasio over there misbehaving as well? I don't know. I don't see him. When you don't see him, he's, he's dangerous. I see he was now. taking some pictures over there with his fingers, some hand gestures as if he was taking pictures of the white tiger. There's a white. There's a right hand by the right tiger and a left. Schultz now catching it a little bit from the tiger. There's a chop of forearm. Uh-uh, Schultz comes back. Oh, brother, that kick might have been low. Brother, he planted him with that neck breaker. Combination moves what? went into a spinning neck breaker. Only a two count. The White Tiger saved once again by, I guess, some emotion and adrenaline running through him. But Indeed, Tiger, that heart of his telling him to get up. But right now, that body can't quite make it. In comes Casey Cage. And now Casey Cage in there to wreak havoc. Oh, look at Cage taunting him. That could be a mistake, Matt. He's letting him get his breath while he's sitting there talking. You know, I don't know what sometimes what gets into these men as they'll sometimes take liberties with an opponent and cost themselves a match. That right hurts. now, of course, Cage, that's not cost him anything as he's very effective on White Tiger. Uh, we heard a tag, but we didn't see one as Sean Schultz comes in illegally. Casey uh, Cage gets out, going to take a breather. The ref referee thought he heard a tag, but not the referee's fault. Mac, you of all people know that you can't see everything inside the ring, especially when you've got six individuals in there beside yourself. Very, very difficult. Somebody claps his hand behind you, you're not sure if it's a tag or not, so you give him the benefit of the doubt. Especially in a situation like this where you as a referee don't want to, you want to be, you don't want to be that integral a part of the match. Tiger now firing back with a series of rights and lefts, and now Schultz uh, back in control of the situation. Schultz whips him across the way. No, sir, Tiger. Good move. And he caught him. Good. And Schultz, boy, he did. And Schultz is stunned. And Schultz reeling over there and desperately needs a tag. Listen to the crowd encouraging the white Tiger to make a tag, and he does it. Jerry Lamb comes in, fist of fire with a big clothesline, and the elbow takes down Casey Cage. We've got a reversal now. And High impact clothesline and a big fist to Big Billy Douglas. He's going to go out on that bald head of his. We've got a pinfall here. One, two, only a two count. And now Jerry Lynn scooping his man. Pile driver. And he crammed him. He crammed him. Did he one, two? He got him. All right, what a, we got our first decision. Michael, let's make it official. Casey Cage has been eliminated. And Jerry Lynn promptly heads over to Sean Schultz and grabs him by the hair and drags him back into the ring. Now the referee's distracted over here with Tommy Mercer and the White Tiger and that gave Big Billy Douglas and uh, Sean Schultz the advantage that they needed. Came in from behind on Jerry Lynn and now he's in trouble. Now you got to watch Tony Lacazio on the outside. He may only weigh about 90, 95 pounds, but he's still a uh, dangerous adversary out on the outside. I'll tell you what. And now Lacazio out there taking liberties on Jerry Lynn. And Lacazio, boy, he's a snake, isn't he, Mac? Yeah, he don't have a leg on his body. It's all slither. <laughs> and now Jerry Lynn being whipped into the corner hard and follow up. Boy, you got to give Douglas credit for following through with that maneuver. He followed through all right, but uh, Tony's the one that set him up for it. Indeed, with that uh, choking over the cable yeah. earlier in there. Now across the way. No, sir. Jerry Lynn. Oh, spin over. Sunset. One, two. No, sir. Great. Oh, I thought he had him there. Yeah. Uh. Great move. And Jerry Lynn bounced up, was ready to make another maneuver. maneuver and Michael Sean Schultz was waiting on him right there. He certainly was. Fans, this is the type of show that you're going to see each and every Saturday morning on my VLT2 for one solid hour from 11 a.m. to noon. If your friends and family and neighbors didn't tune in today, make sure to tell them to tune in next Saturday morning at 11 a.m. for one hour of EWP wrestling action. Look at this now again, the White Tiger, he's making a mistake. He's got the referee over in his corner, and look what's happening to Jerry Lynn over here. He's being double teamed and uh, possibly triple teamed by the Big Billy Douglas, Sean Schultz, and Tony Lacazio. Well, I'll tell you what, Lynn just caught a shot. It looked like it was to the back of the head or to the side 
from Sean Schultz. A very dangerous blow there, Mac. Yeah, and Schultz on the on the ground. He's got plenty of leverage. And Schultz, he's merciless. When he has an opportunity like that, he is absolutely merciless. Lynn fires back with rights and lefts to the midsection of Douglas, but to no avail as Douglas fires back and puts a stop to that. Big scoop. No, sir. Lynn with a reversal. Uh-oh, Lynn! And he just teed off! Sean Schultz went down, but Big Billy Douglas caught Jerry Lynn with a heavy clothesline, sent him down, and we could possibly have an elimination oh, here, man. guys. No, sir. Only a two. Boy, howdy, I'll tell you what. What an exciting hour it's been of EWP Pro Wrestling fans. And uh, should, and I'm not saying it will, but should this match go the length of our TV time, our cameras will be rolling and we will bring you the decision one way or the other. But right now it's Bully, Big Bully Douglas on top of Jerry Lynn and really nailing him with those right hands. And it seems to be Schultz and Douglas dominating Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn who needs desperately to make a tag. If this action right here does not prove that EWP is the premier wrestling promotion in East Tennessee, guys, I don't know what will. From the beginning match, the opening match on today's card until your TV main event, you have seen it, the stars of EWP action. It, it's unbelievable what we've seen in the past uh, 50 minutes or so. Wow. What an elbow, Mac, as Jerry Lynn got caught there. Plus he went down the back of his head too, which makes it tough. He planted him in a kisser with the elbow, and like you say, he hit the back of his head on the mat. Jerry Lynn, Michael, Jerry Lynn desperately needs to make a tag. Listen to the crowd here. They're solidly behind Jerry Lynn. Sean Schultz signaling. He Maybe thinks it's over. On a part of Schultz. Going for a suplex, but uh, no, sir. Jerry Lynn, snap suplex, took him straight over. Jerry Lynn dead weighted him and caught him right there and managed to avert the suplex. And Schultz got taken down on his own. Both men tagging in. And now it's a white tiger. And Big Billy Douglas, Tiger now, all over his man. Tiger going crazy like a windmill in a tornado. The White Tiger. And sometimes size isn't everything, Mac. Size isn't everything for sure. Here's where they got the problem. Oh, uh, Schultz caught him as White Tiger was going for the home run. Tony tiger. Ocasio distracted the referee, caused the White Tiger to get in trouble. Ouch. Oh, man. And this is going to spell the end, and the White Tiger's gone. Brother, I'll tell you what, controversial to say the least. Michael, let's make it official. Wrestling fans, the White Tiger has been eliminated. One, two, three. Big Boy Douglas has been eliminated. Big Boy Douglas eliminated right there. He got and distracted. He got Jerry distracted. Lynn caught him. And now it's going to be, uh-uh, Schultz and Tommy Mercer, and Schultz is caught in a catch-22 crossfire. I'm gonna tell you something, everybody knows now that Sean Schultz is alone in this match. Nobody there to help him, Mac, except for his uh, manager, Lucasio. Well, somebody's in there that doesn't belong. I'm not sure which one of them of, uh, uh, is, uh, is legal in there. Uh, I guess it's Jerry. Only a two count there. Sean Schultz kicked out somehow or another. He knows that he is the last ray of hope for his team. Tony Lucasio is already two in the hole, and he, I think you can tell the look on his face, he's nervous. I don't know, there may be a tear in his eye, but we got a Northern Lights suplex One, here. Two. Whoa, Three, Jerry Lynn was almost gone. Schultz almost caught Jerry Lynn right there, and Lucasio, you gotta know Lucasio's gonna have to double up on his blood pressure medication. Where is he? Oh, I see him, all right. You see? Yeah, I see him. He's He's slithering around on the other side over there. Schultz now with the right hand on Jerry Lynn. Lynn backed into the corner. Give Schultz credit, he's holding his own. Schultz now. Face full of turnbuckle and Schultz nailed Jerry Lynn in the corner. And now Schultz. Jerry Lynn whipped across the way. Here comes Schultz in after him. No sorry. Bulldog sent him straight Boy, oh down, head first into the canvas. Jerry Lynn now, he needs to make a tag to Tommy Mercer, come in and possibly finish this match. Tommy Mercer. Schultz doesn't even know where he is. I don't know how we are on uh, television time, but I know we are coming close to the end of our hour. Schultz in a world of trouble and a world of hurt as Jerry Lynn has taken the battle to him. And Jerry Lynn now swinging up, no sir! Schultz caught him with an elbow coming in. But Jerry
Jerry, uh uh, right back on the attack. And now Jerry Lynn going up. What a move. What a move. Her Conorada, a Jerry Steiner. We'll call that a Jerry Steiner for right now. Straight off the top rope, Sean Schultz went flying out in the middle of the canvas. Now look at what's going on over here. Tony Lucchese distracted. Tommy Mercer, Jerry Lynn is gone. Oh, Schultz countered him. The feet him. was on the rope. But he caught him. And now it's down to one man. It's Schultz and Mercer. Wrestling. Mercer's the first. Wrestling fans, this. Jerry Lynn has been eliminated. Jerry Lynn eliminated. Mackey started to say. I said uh, Mercer's the fresher of the two. That's for sure. And now we're down to one man left. The final two participants, fans, the winner of this fall right here is going to get the victory for their team and the winner's share of the purse. You can see Jerry Lynn being helped out over here on the side. And this is going back and forth. Sean Schultz, Tommy Mercer, they wrestled each other before here on my VLT2. They know each other very well. Sean Schultz goes down. Fans, we are coming close to the end of our television program. Big elbow here. Tommy Mercer's got him back in, sends him into the, into the turnbuckles in the corner. Big boot right to the face now. Power slam, brought him over. Tony Lucasio coming up on the ring apron. And you know that, that Tommy Mercer wants to get his hands on that stringy-headed geek. Well missed with a, uh, that was gonna be a double ax handle there, Mac. Well, he needs he needs to be careful. Uh, there we go. Here comes Jerry Lynn back out. Sean Schultz, whoa! Oh, he catch him, he plays oh, him! One, what? two, three! It's over! Let's go to Michael. Wrestling fans, the winner of the fall and the match, Tommy Mercer! Fans, what action we've seen today. I'm on the verge of hyperventilating. What, what a tremendous hour we've seen, guys. Tune in next week for more EWP wrestling action. Until next week, be careful and take care.